Okay, so this is uh, part two of the lecture on variables and histograms. So a vector is a order collection of data elements of the same type. So how we're going to write vectors in this class is you'll put the name of your vector. So here I have an example here and calling it ages. So that's the name of my vector. Then you put a less than sign, then a minus sign, then a C, then parentheses. Then you start putting your values after that separated by commas. So it'd be 22, 25, 26, and so forth. And at the very end, we put a parentheses. So this would be your vector. This vector is called ages. Uh, and for example, if I went ages bracket one, that would say the first number in my uh, ages vector, which is 22. That's why ages of one is 22. And ages of six, at count over six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So 38 is in the sixth position. So therefore ages bracket six would be 38. Okay, so uh, next thing now. A histogram is a plot that lets you visualize the underlying frequency distribution, that means the shape, of a discrete or continuous variable. So say we're given ages again here. Uh, let's construct so uh, a frequency histogram from ages. So, uh, so pretty much let's do practice quiz one, question two, which is asking us to construct a frequency histogram of this ages vector. Okay, so let's take a look at that question. Okay, so it's giving us, uh, so here's practice quiz one, question two. It says, let ages be this vector of uh, values. It says, for the numerical variable ages, form a frequency histogram with each bin representing a 10 year period starting at 20 and going to 100. So let me put a table here, then I'll discuss how I, uh, how I got it here. So let me discuss how I got this table. We have one here. Okay, so it says uh, starting at 20 and going by increments of 10. So the first bin would be from 20 to 30. Uh, so let's color that, say, that color there. And notice here the way, by convention, the number on the left is strictly less than the x. So the x uh, is any value between 20 and 30, but strictly larger than 20 and uh, less than or equal to 30. And the next bin, well, it's going to start at 30 and go to 40. Let's do that one, say, uh, this color. And uh, say then the next one we go from 40 to 50. You can see uh, well the reason one of the reasons why the number on the left is strictly uh, less than x is because uh, on the on the one above you see it was our, it was included in this bin up here. So you just want to include it in one of the bins. So if you had strict if you had less than or equal to here, 30, 30 would be in both of these bins. Okay, so next one would be from 40 to 50. Again, we're going by increments of 10 years. So 40 to 50. Uh, let's make that a greenish color here. And next one then from 50 to 60. Let's make that this color here, yes. Uh, and then from 60 to 70. The light blue side. Uh, then from 70 to 80. And we keep going until we get to uh, 100. So then we have a 90, 92, 80 to 90, sorry. 80 to 90, let's make that. This color is. Oh, I already used that color. Different color here. So uh, this one. Okay, so and let's leave the last one uh, blank here. That, that color. So now uh, looking at our vector values up here, we have to look at the one on the first bin. We have to look for the ones between twenty and thirty. So you can see here, 
22, 25, or between 20 and 30. So So therefore, 25 and 22 and 25 to be in this bin. So you count the number of values there. So there's two of them. So you say frequency two. Then uh, next bin is between 30 and 40. Again, strictly bigger than 30. It could be less than or equal to 40. It's going to be 36, 38, 38. For these guys. Okay, so. There's four of them, so you say frequency four. Then from 40 to 50, uh, so you'd have 45, 46, 48. And green, okay. Okay, so there they'll be in bin uh, three, and there's four of them, one, two, three, four. So you put frequency four. Then from 50 to 60, so that'll be 50, 52, 55, 55, 58. Okay, so there's then, what color is that? So 50, 60, okay, so it's like uh, that color, I think. Okay, so 50, 60, okay, so in the right color, it's, it's fine. You get the idea. So there's then one, two, three, four, five. So frequency five, then from 60 to 70, well, there's gonna be 61. 67, 68, those ones. So it's like three of them. Uh, three, oh, I uh, made it the same color. Do a bit lighter. Okay, so that's from uh, 60 to 70. So there's three of them, so you say frequency three. Then from 70 to 80, Looks like it's just 72. And then from, uh, so 72, just one thing. Then from 80 to 90, notice there's none in that range. So you'd say zero for frequency. And lastly, from 90 to 100, it's just a 91 up here. So it'd have frequency one. Okay, so now let's talk about how to make the, how to make the histogram. Okay, so to construct a frequency histogram, we first graph the bins on the x-axis and then create rectangles above each bin where the height of each rectangle is the frequency of the bin. We'll look at an example now. We'll, we'll be graphing, we'll do a histogram of this data right now. So let's construct now a frequency histogram of our data. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so here's our data. Uh, so we have our bins and our frequency. So let's do the histogram now. So you're gonna do an XY graph here. And uh, on the X, we're going to be doing the bins. So we're going to start with 20. So I'm going to do a little squiggle here. It's saying that there's some values missing. I'm going to say 20 starts here. Then I'm going to go by increments of 10. So we'll say that's 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. There's our uh, bins I've graphed on the x-axis. And uh, on the y-axis now we're going to have our frequencies. Looks like they vary between 0 and 5. So let's say that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 5 up there. That's 1 there. So our first bin has frequency 2. So there's 2. Three, four. So frequency two would be like this. So that'd be a rectangle. Next one has frequency four. So up to four. It's better than that. So that's frequency four. And uh, next one also has frequency four between forty and fifty. So scale has frequency four. Got that. And uh, next one has frequency five, so that's the biggest one, the tallest one. Has the most number of uh, numbers in there from our vector. So like that. 
Add in 60 to 70, frequency 3, so 3 is about here. So like that. Uh, 70 to 80, we have frequency 1. Now 80 to 90, we have frequency 0, so just be right there, no height. And the last one, 90 to, oops, 100, should be 100 here. And 90 to 100, it has frequency 1. So a bit like this. So this would be your frequency histogram. Okay, so uh, I'm going to continue with this video. Uh, so we're done with this one. We're going to continue with another video. We'll do more of this lecture. So let's leave it, leave it there on this video.